Hello and welcome to webmastercampus.com. Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing good. In this tutorial, we are going to learn event prevent default versus return false using jQuery. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to write HTML5 code. Let's write h1 with the title of the topic that we're gonna learn. Okay, let's open with live server. Here we are. Let's write down a Dev and I'm going to call this result and in this one I'm going to define a anchor tag that anchor tag will have let's call www.yahoo.com okay yahoo.com then I'm going to take two copies and write down Bing and Google okay so I have three links and now we are going to add a script let's add first jQuery then write down script and this is script we will track them if you just want to stop this single one when i click on this it will take me yahoo.com okay let me just control click it it will because it's giving us error because i didn't define this https or fib it's it's just giving me error now you can see it's take took me to yahoo.com but what i needed i just want to stop this so for this one i can do a turn false and it will work so it's not gonna take me but this is for the single one and if you want to apply this multiple or implement more functionality what you can do you can just define this using jQuery. okay like this i'm going to say a all the a inside the anchor just define the all the anchors and within the anchor let's uh, just do console.log a just clicked you can see i have also a div let's define a div on click as well okay div id is result and i'm going to say div id result just click okay a tag just click so let's see what will happen when I click on it. It will give me a link message over here, like div ID just click, but it didn't show me the anchor tag. Why? Because uh, A just immediately took the next page, which uh, was yahoo.com. That's why it didn't display. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write down E dot prevent or define the E. Let's define the event over here, E or event. You can define an E dot prevent default. Okay let's do this and see what we got i just click on it so you can see first it display the a click but it also just display the div id because this anchor is inside the result div so this is called bubble propagation it's bubbling all the child event is also notify their parent elements okay so when we use prevent default it just stop the functionality but it bubble the propagation so even notify the parent to stop this uh, you can use this one and also you can also use return false okay let's see the difference over here when i click on this one you can see it done false just to stop this event but it's not going to propagate to their parent elements okay so this is the major distinction if you use return false this will just stop the complete functionality or stop the bubble navigation or bubble propagation and if you are using the event prevent event default it will just stop the link clickable but it will notify the parent that click happened in this one okay so you can use it this is how you can use prevent default or return false it's all up to you or your requirement thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe my channel